Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out this evening to be a part of our meeting and the meeting of the month of August. Uh, Alderman, we have an amendment agenda before us. And the amended agenda be considered. We will ask you to consider the amended agenda's items 521 through 525. Before we do that, we have a roll call, please. Alderman Chapman? Present. Alderman Cunningham? Here. Alderman Wilson? Present. Present. Honorable Chambers. Present. Honorable Chestain. Here. Honorable Lentz. Here. Here we have the vote. Good morning, present. Uh, the items uh, that is amended agenda item 521, 522, 523, 525. Uh, in the public comment section, I will update the minute on the tornado definition that can apply. I get a motion to accept the amended agenda. To accept the amended agenda. Okay. Mayor, could I add a, just a quick item to the discussion line item? Okay. First responders cookout, and I'll explain it when we get there. First responders cookout. Yes, sir. On the discussion. Yes, sir. An amendment. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, Sammy. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, tonight for my devotional, I, <laughs> I I've invited my mother-in-law. And there's no secret, she is the matriarch of our family, and most of all of us, well, I am proud of my mother-in-law. And two months ago, and why this is so special, two months ago, she fell ill and she was on a ventilator for nine months. And she's well, nine days, I'm sorry, nine days. I don't want to put you in the ventilator for nine months, but nine days. And that was uh, incredibly traumatizing for our family. So we, we, we're so happy that she has recovered and is on the men's right now and standing straight up and able to deliver this devotional. She's no secret and no stranger to this devotional, but um, we just wanted to testify to the goodness of God and, and how great God is in from those nine days to standing straight up right now to give us the devotional. And we want to welcome uh, Miss Ann Pickett Parker, Reverend Dr. Evening. God is so good. I have a wish and two things. I've been with this a long time. But this thing that happened to me, I'm ready to go. And I see, and I come. And so I can start tonight. I received a hearing in church. Later, suppose that the most popular U.S. president of all time is trouble with the presidency and the culmination of a lifelong struggle. This man can struggle with depression in the end of our city. Yes, 
that he was assassinated, making his pockets and stuff with newspaper companies and hoping that he get out of the casino. So we would share the impact of people. I think you'll agree with me that we all need encouragement. If you read Chapter 10, verse 24 through 25, he said, How we may spur one on to a love and good deeds. Not giving up meaning to them, as some are in the habit of doing, but it concerns them. And all the more. As you see the day goes on. If someone to come, that day is approaching. Then I go to Ephesians 4 and 29. Then do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. But always let us tell them that we are according to their needs. That is the those who listen. But just imagine what would happen if we were able to live up with that in our homes, churches, and our community. Don't go it alone. See, you were beginning 25 and warns us not to give up. We need to go it alone. Together, a group of people to share his life and he asked his close friends to watch and pray with him. If Jesus saw that kind of support, we should as well. So I'm encouraging each of us tonight to be intentional. About encouraging one another as we walk this journey together so that no one has to go get his money. I know that as I was in the high school room, there were people all Boston, Kentucky, Indianapolis, people from everywhere who prayed for me. I didn't want to go in alone, and neither to either of you. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, I heard you. Your name is everyone and all of the earth. We thank you for making each of us in this room. Every spirit of this city and every city in your own image. We thank you for calling you that you inspire us to be good stewards of your creation, to love our neighbors as ourselves. We have to be We are called to lead the community in which we are and work. Give them the strength to make wise decisions and all of our sessions. Give them power to do what is right and good and fair. Keep them safe from all harm and danger. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your son Jesus came to save us from the sin. In Jesus' name, I pray this blood. Amen. Thank you. Let us pray. I'm to the Thank you very much. We have one presentation this evening, and I would like to invite. 
Honorary Lord Chapman to come down with me. Uh, it's his pastor that we are uh, recognizing this evening, and Dr. Parker's husband. Just give us a minute to come down. His sister's daughter is here to receive this. <laughs> I am, uh, yes, I am honored to fix my signature to this certificate of appreciation. We would like for Dr. Parker to stand with us and uh, Pastor Parker's daughter. Alderman Chapman is a deacon there at New Zion. Pastor Parker has been a friend of mine ever since I've been here. And very supportive. He's ill, not doing well himself. We pray for him and he get better, but we thought it would be fitting that we give him this specific appreciation that he the topic. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Certificate of appreciation. Whereas Pastor James R. Parker was a minister of the gospel for 52 years. And where it is, he pastored at the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church in Moss Point, Mississippi for 38 years and served as first missionary Baptist Church of Escatawa, pastor in Moss Point, Mississippi. Escatawa, Mississippi, as pastor for 12 years. And where it is, Pastor Parker served as legal redress for the Moss Point chapter of the National Association of Colored People NAACP, and whereas he holds a bachelor's degree from Lyft Bible College and additionally holds both a master's and doctor's degrees from Lyft Bible College, and whereas certified spiritual and marriage counselor and has advised numerous pastors, ministers, couples, and laypersons, and whereas he is currently designated as New Zion Missionary Baptist Church Pastor Emeritus. And now left, I, Billy E. Knight Sr., Mayor of the City of Mars Point, and all the women and all the men do hereby present the Certificate of Appreciation to James R. Parker, Pastor Emeritus of New Zion Missionary Baptist Church. For the infinite hours of laboring in the vineyards, teaching, preaching, pastoring, and counseling. We honor you for your tireless perseverance in serving God and justice you have shared with not only your flock, but countless others. May you always know what a difference you have made and continue to make in the world by reflecting the love, patience, and joy of a Christian heart. In witness thereof, I am here unto set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Mark Point, Mississippi to be affixed this 15th day of August, 2023. Signed, Billy E. Knight, Sr., Mayor of Mark Point. Thank you. Thank you. Who must over again? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Yes.
Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we're down to uh, the discussion of the department monthly report. Woman, Waterman, are there any questions for any of the board members? I mean, of the department heads? Any questions? I guess a uh, question slash comment or comment slash questions on the inspections. Oh, there is no report. And then we never have an attendee that we can ask questions. And there is a lot of things that need to be addressed by the inspection department that falls behind. The question I would have is how long does it take them to review and deal with an issue? I've been dealing with the issue on Henry Street ever since I've been in office two years. Mr. Bradford had it three years while he was in office, five years, and we're still only reviewing. Give us some kind of report or address the situation concerning a major complaint that those people have in their neighborhood. So somewhere in inspections, we need to have a come to Jesus meeting. Okay, we'll do that. Any other questions? Any other question of any department? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hold on. Uh, I see the young, I see the those. Yeah, you're talking to us. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, I, I'm I'm up here for a social social challenge because I don't have social social media, and like I like to contact Melvin Booker Jr., the one who uh, out of Morris Point High School, the, the former NBA player, and I need to contact him uh, because all these people in town said, "Well, I need to talk to him." So that's why I came here. So maybe I can get some assistance from your office. Okay. So who is it you want to you want to contact? Mel Mucker Jr. He's the former uh, NBA player at Mars Point High School. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my school. Can you write it in? I can. We can. Uh, yes. give us, uh, a, you don't have an email or phone number? You got a phone number? I have a phone number. Put your phone number on here so we can call you when we find that information out. We'll give you a call. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Thank you very much. Anything else? Uh, that's all, man. Right? Okay. All right. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Okay. I would uh, like to give the uh, public uh, board uh, an update on the uh, tornado, the uh, hurricane, uh, I mean, a tornado declaration. All of you should have a have a copy of this sheet. If you don't, you can get one. They want to have one. This is fortunately Saturday at uh, I got the text message uh, from the an email from the deputy chief of MEMO on Saturday about 4:30 that the president has signed the proclamation. Uh, declaring uh, Jasper and Jackson County uh, a disaster, signing a disaster declaration for those two counties. What that means is that we now have individual assistance, individual assistance meaning families, and public assistance meaning city public buildings, debris pickup, assistance and individual assistance. All of those that was in that tornado zone, that six square miles, may use this to apply for assistance online. You can do it by phone by downloading the Facebook app. 
what I would suggest to all of the people that would apply is that the best documentation that you can have to verify your doc your damages is going to be helpful for you. Uh, pictures, receipts. Those are the two main items that you need to have document your damages. Pictures, if you have a before and after, it's going to be helpful. Then a receipt that you have that's related to the tornado damages is going to be very helpful. The more and the more effective your documentation is, the more support you're going to get. Let me caution you. You're not going to be made whole. FEMA is not going to give you 100% of what you need to get your house repaired. Whatever the difference that you get from FEMA, SBA will also be here, whereas you want to go into a low interest loan, you will be able to get a low interest loan, or at least apply. I can't guarantee anything, but you can apply for a low interest loan. Later in the week, our call center will be open, where you can also come in person and apply. We don't know what day they're going to be here yet. MEMA came today, FEMA came today and inspected the building. They are satisfied with the building. That is the, the Riverfront Recreation Center. Parts of it is going to be used for that. They're going to be open later in the week. But we'll let you know because they cannot give us an exact date at this time. We just believe it's going to be. So prior to that, you can apply through these means. And I will say for sure next week, or later next week, you can come in person and apply at our real point Recreation center. And everyone that you would need to see will be in that building. Everyone that you need to see to get a system will be in that bill. We're told that there will be 15 to 20 people that will be coming to be in that center to provide assistance. As soon as I know the more in detail, I will put out a statement about that. But we're waiting to get more accurate information about that. So just let me just ask you to also help us with all the rumor that we still have out there. We asked our pastors this weekend and I got word that several pastors did talk about, I asked them, I sent them a letter to help me inform our people the right information about what's going on. So now we know that it's not true that the reason we did not get the FEMA declaration before now, we find out that it's not true that the mayor did not fill out the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what the rumor was. The reason we didn't get it is because the mayor did not know how to fill out the paperwork. That was from the Board of Arts Casino to Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> which also ties in the fact that we're not selling the recreation center. We're not selling Pelican Landing. That's also from the casinos in Mobile, Alabama. Mm. Sometimes we can be our worst enemy. We can be our own worst enemy. So what I'm telling our friends as well to tell me about what is being said, I said, okay, when things start unfolding different from what you've heard, 
go find those same people and ask them what happened. <laughs> so I had some friends to go to Brady's restaurant and the hotels last week over in Ocean Spring to say, open books and the actual people. Most point just got that decoration signed. What happened to the paperwork that the mail didn't fill out? And they can't give you the good answer. So please, y'all help us with that. We are our consent agenda. Items 4.1 through 4.8. <clears throat> Eight, ready to board. Question on 4.8, ma'am. Uh, the finances is for three people, but you only have two people. Still, uh, still going. Uh, so, your finances is for three people, and the two is listed here on item 4.8. Is the third person still going? Yes. When there are agenda items for that particular person, so that's why it's not specifically named, but it does list two people and the position of that person. Got it. Send agenda. Motion to approve. Motion. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Nays. Aye. Let's have it. Main agenda. Journey. Thoughts of one, clear to sign a recommendation by Alderman Timothy Gizek to rescind the appointment of Steve Cannon on the Long Point Planning Commission and appoint Anthony Thomas as Planning Commission for the recommendation by Alderman Timothy Gizek. So move. Move for Alderman Timothy Gizek. Alderman Wilson. Any questions? Questions. Yes, sir. Is it possible with the consent of this board that Ward One could have a representative on this planning commission? Uh, yes, that was actually the very beginning of it. That everybody should present one. Most of the people that's on there came over from the old board of adjustments. Tim yeah. said that he not, didn't... not all of it. Okay. No but when, when there's a vacancy, yes, that's to uh, okay. give you that opportunity. But because this gentleman that he's recommended originally that was on there was a new one. And then he's not attend he was not attending. That's why we taking him off and giving Alderman Dubo an opportunity to present another one. Oh, say that. That's what happened with this one. Am I right? Do you want to make a comment about yeah, no, no, no. I, I look, I wanted to be wanted to be fair and equitable. We talked about it earlier. Uh, the only dilemma I have is I've, I've told Mr. Thomas already, no and I didn't want to not appoint him after informing him. But, um, you know, when you made mention that Mr. Bailey is in our ward as well, you know, but of course he was a holdover from that other deal. So that was the only reason that I wanted to make sure that it's equitable in that. I have a problem with it at all. Okay, another question. Do we uh, do we rescind this and put somebody from Wall One, or are we going on with the? We have a motion on the floor to accept Mr. Thompson on the okay. Dubois recommendation. Okay. That's the motion on the floor. Is there another question? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Days. Ayes. Aye. Aye. 5.2, approve to decline a request by Whit O'Brien to increase the June 19, 2022 tornado debris monitoring notice to proceed, not to exceed the amount of 325,000 submitted by Trisha Dixon City of Motion to approve. Second. Second. Most of order on the chat and second by Alderman Dunham. Yes, sir. Question day. What affiliation is is Whit O'Brien with uh, Del Sol? They're two different companies. Um, Whit O'Brien was um, went through the bid process to be the debris monitor. They uh, monitor. Um, they go around with the debris removal company and monitor the the removal pickup. They, they validate the number of the tonnage of which what one reimbursed for. So you've got to have them for the beam reimbursement. 
Okay, so we so Del Sol is an administrative consultant. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to get that straight in my head. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Justin Smith, only um call if you have any questions for him. He's a representative with with O'Brien. Uh, we have a motion and a second on the floor. There's no other questions. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Nays. Five seven. Five point three approves the client recommendation by Dell Soil Consulting to pay Wet O'Brien's invoice uh, for debris monitoring professional service fees for the city of Moss Point tornado disaster in the amount of thirty one thousand two sixty eight seventy five submitted by Trisha Dickinson City Clerk. Motion to approve. Second. Board of Wisdom, second by Honorable Lennon. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Stays. Aye, uh, seven. 5.4. Approved to find a recommendation by Dell Soul Consulting to pay DRC emergency services invoice for debris removal services for the city of Moss Point tornado disaster in the amount of 89,145.31 for work performed June 26, 2023 to June the 30th, 2023, submitted by Trish Thigpen. To approve, motion to Adam Wilson. Second, Dr. Morgan Chapman. Any questions? Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Nays. Five seven. Five point five. Approved to find a request to pay Dell Soul Consulting invoice in the amount of fifty three thousand fifty five dollars for disaster recovery services work performed July first to July thirty first, twenty twenty three, for the City of Moss Point tornado disaster. Submitted on your statement. Motion to approve. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Second, Mr. Wilson. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Nays. I have it. 5.6 approved to find a request to pay public states and points in amount of $5,000 for legal services for note counts for the $2 million city of Moss Point taxable GO note series 2023 tornado emergency funding submitted under statement. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by order. Chapman, second by order. Testing. Right. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Nays. Aye, seven. I point seven approved to find a request to pay all federal lease in the amount of fifty five thousand five hundred eighty six fifty three the city reimbursement from the CDPG plan in the amount of fifty thousand dollars for fifty. $50,450.03 for the radios assigned to the low mod areas. The funds will return to the state by rebate account and will be used to pay off the balance of the lease submitted by Mary and Governor, Director of Finance. President Ward. Take to approve. Second. Motion by Alderman Chapman, Circuit Motor Wilson. Any question? Could I get a little explanation on the radios and their use in the low to mod income areas? It's the uh, emergency radio. It's the radio for the fire department that it's purchased. I don't remember when they were purchased several years back, the new radios. And they, they are the ones that are located at the field and up north at this time. At the fire station? At the fire station, yes. They're the ones that are there in the trucks, they're the base stations, and the corpus. Any other questions? All in favor, sir. Aye. Aye. Page seven. Five point eight. Approved to decline a request to provide one hundred thousand dollars in match funds for the Mississippi Main Street revitalization grant to be paid for the economic development department budget for two budget cycles. The grant amount is five hundred thousand dollars and enabling a six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar project to be undertaken to re revitalize the downtown area. Submitted by Sue Wright, Executive Director of Moss Point Main Street Association. And just for clarification, on that up, the twenty-five thousand dollars is coming from Mississippi PAC. Right. Okay. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollar total match. So we've got twenty-five thousand from Mississippi Power plus another fifteen from Mississippi Power. We're coming to forty. We just have to go through the whole process to make sure. Fifteen thousand is credited as a match, but that would be forty-two thousand five hundred per budget year. We don't anticipate getting the money till at least August of twenty-four. 
Maybe when I start the project in January 25, continue on into 26. In the meantime, we can substitute um, match for themselves should another great source or another funder like Mississippi Power then we would use that money first. Another question? Yes, sir. So the money comes from Mississippi Power. Is that part of that 100000 mm -hmm. No, Mississippi Power has offered to give 40000 in total. So if you take 125000 that's required as the match, minus 40000 from Mississippi Power, that would leave 42500 per budget year. For two years. For two years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So should we say up to seven five now? So a little better. I would say to provide up to in the budget. Maybe yes. as, long as, it, as long as it's reflected in the budget. As such, as such. President Wood. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Alderman Wilson, second by Alderman Any questions? Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Page. Ayes have it. 5.9. Approved decline the request to host the National Bass Tactics Fishing Tournament in June 2024 and send a letter of intent to the organization stating Moss Point commitment to support the event submitted by Sue Wright, Executive Director of Moss Point Main Street Association. Motion to approve. Mr. Baldwin Wilson. Second. Second by. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any questions? Any questions? Mayor, is this the one you, uh, that you, the guy you met with that liked it so well down here? Good deal. That's a good tournament. Any favor, sir? Aye. Aye. Aye, sir. 5.10 approved to find the request to accept the lowest and best quote for the removal replacement of the phase two sewer lift station fencing replacement project. Recommend the selection of Gulf Coast Fence Company with a quote in the amount of $14,275 to be funded through the Modern Use Tax Infrastructure Fund submitted by Roy Hutchinson, Director of Public Works. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Alderman Chastain. Second by Alderman Chapman. Any questions? Uh, one question. Yes, sir. Roy, don't you have several of these lift station fences in line to be repaired? Yes. This is just one of them that, that's ready or? Ready? Yes. Uh, I was asking, I was asking about one over in the Sawmill Point area that's falling apart. I know there's one on Bellevue by the bridge. That, it may even have tornado damage. Uh, so, kind of as a follow up to some discussions we've some of us have had about spending the modernization money, we have a deadline that we need to spend a certain amount of it. Uh, do we do we think some more of these will be done near term or? Another list. Okay. Thank you. Now, I wanted to ask a question, uh, Roy, the uh, list that we turned in, I guess, for this, this, this particular fund, uh, we had a little additional street paving list. Is that a part of this? Well, it's not part of this, but it will be also. That's going to be Okay. Streets, uh, 
Hunter Mill Station. Thank you, Mayor. I misunderstood. I thought this was just one lift station. And that's what I knew you had a list of them. And, and that's what threw me off. I thought that was pretty high for one. So that's it's nine altogether on this list. So your overall list, and pardon me, Mayor, has nine lift stations, plus you had some of the streets Tim talked about. You got several things on the overall list that you're working toward. Is that is that right? Okay. And this no, no, I understand that. This is just part of the overall list. That's what I'm getting at. Thank you. You're open. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 5.11 approved decline a request to accept the London's invest quote for the directional drilling of 2000 linear feet of four inch sewer HDPE pipe located on Highway 63 north of Interstate 10 inside of the city limits. Recommend the selection of post underground LLC in the quote in the amount of $50,000 to be funded through the modernization infrastructure fund. The quote is for labor and equipment only submitted by Ward Budgeting during the move. Second. I'll just say this to just to just to, without calling the name of a business that we're doing this Roy's action for this because there's a business that's getting ready to locate up there mm -hmm. and we need this infrastructure there. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. It's a also, a third business that's already picked that has kind of also obtained the suit suit. All in favor? Aye. 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 5.12 approved decline a request to accept the lowest best quote for the purchase of materials to complete the Mississippi Highway 63 sewer line installation project. Recommend the selection of Central Pipe and Supply Incorporated. The quote is $19,230.80 to be funded through the modernization and perspective. So moved. Second. And what that is I didn't want the contractors to add a markup to material costs. Keep the present time. Deliver. That's why we have two sets. So, perfect. We just approved extra labor equipment. This is for material. We have a motion in the second. So, a motion by Alderman uh, uh, Cunningham, second by Alderman Chapman. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Thanks. I was having 5.13. A my request to accept the lowest and best price for the replacement of the obsolete odor odorization injection system located at the East Street Railroad Interstation. The system is this system is required under FEMSA with federal rule recommend the selection of odorization, odorization solutions incorporated at a cost not to exceed 57000 to be funded through the utility capital outlay fund. Submitted by the way, Director of Public Works. So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Alderman Cunningham, second by Wilson. Any questions? One question. Go ahead. Remember, this is one. Is this the same one as the compliance item we had on the list? That's, that's it. With a warranty. Another question. Yeah, and this company also maintains and they maintain that system. We have three systems throughout the city, all three of them are almost 40 years old. The system is just. Is the, 
is one you're doing the manual injection on. Well, okay, Mr. Hi. Amy. I'm seven. 5.14 approved a client on request to deem the following vehicles as surplus and sell to the town of Goodman, Mississippi for $10 each. You made about 2007 Ford Crown Bit, 2010 Ford Crown Bit, 2007 Ford Crown Bit, 2008 Ford Crown Bit. 2011 Ford Crown Vic and 2012 Dodge Ram. To approve. Second. Postmodern Wilson, second order with Chapman. Any questions? What kind of, I have a question. What kind of shape are these? They're all uh, line repairs, probably tires, bags, just work on. Chief, I'm going to name down here. Look at them today. Come on. Yeah, they're They have no car. One or two, small town. I mean, I got you. We're in bad shape ourselves. And the reason why I'm saying that, I got you. But the reason why I'm saying that is I was wondering whether these surplus auctions, sometimes we get more for them to fund other things. But I, I will not interfere with your judgment on that. <laughs> the good city of uh, Goodman. But they're going to have to look out for the good city of Goodman. <laughs> All right. Chief, that's some beat up cars, the ones that part of Getting a good deal. That's part of getting a good deal, $10. <laughs> and 10 a couple of them. $10. All in favor? Aye. Ladies, I'll tell it. 5.15, approved the final request to purchase a 2023. Golf cart at the price of thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars from the cart shop to be paid from local seizures funds submitted by Brandon Ashley's please. Chief, can you tell us what the purpose of this so people will know what the purpose is? We're, we're going to utilize the mobility down and all the downtown things that we have. I think you know, it's going to start getting far around. We're going to park in the city now. I think we used to have one also to move around all these fence we have. One of the problems we had, the reason I asked Chief is to consider purchasing this out of the seizure money was last year we had an altercation on the far end of Main Street with young men that was playing the music aloud. And when <laughs> Main Street staff went down to action, we cut it down. They didn't want to fight. And we called the cops, and by the time it took the cops to get there. It just took them too long to get there because they had no way to maneuver. This will hopefully give us a way to have a cop present there all the time and can move around to to uh, protect the people the business that's coming. Because uh, we do have some people, unfortunately, that that come to cruise the coast for more than just cruising the coast. <laughs> yeah, so we have to be prepared to protect our business. That kind of may help. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Ace. Do we do a motion in a second? Get a motion in a second. Did we get a motion? Yes, no. No, oh, I'm sorry. So moved. Second. Mr. Baldwin Wilson, Circle Baldwin, come here. All in favor say aye. Aye. Ace. I was out. 5.16 and pray to the final request to hire war. Vacant position dispatcher submitted by Brandon Ashley, Chief of Police. Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Alderman Chambers. Second. Second by Chester. Oh, Leonard. Alderman oh, Leonard. Did you miss a couple there, Attorney? Mm hmm. Okay. 1516. 5.16 is the line right? Oh, no, no ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the old. You're looking at the old. Had you go a few minutes, didn't you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? All in favor, sir. Aye. 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 Submitted by Don Jacob, Director of Parks and Rec. Motion to approve. Second. 
Alderman, uh, motion of Alderman Chapman, second of Alderman Chestnut. Any questions? Got a question, Mayor? Yes. Uh, just as a follow up to our budget committee meeting yesterday, uh, could we possibly talk to this person and, and ask if they would be interested in, in coming on board as a contract employee? Uh, we had some discussion about the cost of benefits and all that. And uh, sometimes you can actually pay someone a little more per hour if you don't need to do the full benefit package. So I don't know if that might even be an option. Not questioning the hire, just saying, you know, how we do that. Yeah. Would that be part of the conversation? Yeah. I know we, we've discussed that possibility of, of, of using that method for many employees going forward, and it's a, it's a money saver. We're definitely in a situation where we need to look for a few extra coins here and there. So I appreciate that. We will make the motion with the other consideration as you discuss when you bring the gentleman on, you can raise that and HR start discussing the salary. Uh, you may have that discussion as the part of another suggestion and see how it plays out. Mayor, do you agree that would be a good thing to pursue? I don't want to interfere with what your plans were. Yeah. Well, we're open to any option that would help us at this point because we are in a financial strain, so any option that we can pursue, um, you know, we're at the whim of an employee. If you got a good employee, these equality is there. It may be difficult to to keep them if you know if, if they may not want that option. So, but then you can have that conversation. And there's nothing wrong with having a conversation. I think we ought to have a conversation. And, uh, and you can just report to how I found out it was. But nothing wrong with raising that option and see if they'll buy it. Thank you. With the panel coverage. The motion on board? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. You got to. Is that about this? It is. It's it about this. I know. Need a vote. We had a motion and a second. Big one. We had a motion and a second. Okay. You know the question. All in favor say aye. Aye. Days. Okay. 5.18 okay. approve the client and request to accept the donation in the amount of ten thousand dollars for the Biloxi Shepherd as part of the Shepherd Community Fund and to be included in the fiscal year 2324 Parks and Rec fund and submitted by Don and Joseph, Director of Parks and Rec. Motion to approve. Second. There's a motion by Alderman Chesney. Mm -hmm. Second by Alderman Chesney. Yes, sir. Any question? I would say that uh, I was with uh, our Parks and Rec director on Saturday when uh, the shuckles presented us that, that check. And uh, they did say that that was just the beginning of their support. Uh, that they would be coming over and, and ride around with us, <coughs> look at other things that they may be able to do. And, and I just suggested that we want them to do what they know how to do, and that it was that will fix up our baseball ball. So at some point, they'll be coming over to let us know what they might be able to do. But of course, they were very generous in giving us this donation. All in favor say aye. Aye. I'm seven. 5.19 approved the client a request to advertise for bids to make improvements to the Moss Point Police Subdivision Health and Wellness Facility located at 4107 Creole Avenue. Motion to approve. Mm -hmm. Alderman Wilson, Circle of Alderman and Chambers. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Seven. 5.20 approved the plan of the doctor to plan and provide us all entries there being approved for us properly entered, not properly, and that can be available to get funds spent on the money. Motion with uh, an adjustment, Mr. Mayor. Second. Motion by Alderman Chester, Chester uh, Chapman, second by Alderman Wilson. Another question. Have, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I can find it. Page, page three. 
We are about three quarters of the way down on docket number 6665, Rejuvenation Station. Uh, Attorney St. Pay, we decided to exclude that reference from any article related to the city of Moss Point. I hate to be difficult, but I, uh, I would ask that we remove that item from the docket, approve the docket, and approve this as a separate item after we adjust that reference. Wait, where is it? Please, the mayor and the board. That is Third, light, the light bill for the recreation station. Docket number six six five six 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 five. I asked that it be removed from the docket. The reference change, and we approve it as a separate line item with the proper reference. From a legal standpoint, we we voted never to use that reference. I think you could probably just strike that reference and pay the bill. Yeah, we'll strike the name of it. If, 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 if you can, but if you approve it on this docket, it's approved as as rejuvenation. I can name it Old City Hall. You can name it Billy Knight Building if you want to, but not not. I hate to be difficult, Mr. Mayor, but I I I I, I, I can't do this 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 review. Still got to pay the bill first. <laughs> what? Uh, what's the what's the what's the pleasure to do? Distract it. Uh, is that what we're Distract it. Yes. Strike the pit as a separate line item. Do a separate vote. You can just check. You just that name is on our. That's not the name of, of the Mississippi Power Bill. But you approved it on your docket of claims. But that name stricken out. Approved it. 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 Approved Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Saint Pete. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Do we care the motion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Uh, With that striking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 5.21 approved to find a request to partner with Jackson County as a sponsor and donor in the amount of $500 for the sixth annual Paddle for Paul's Pecker Plate on September 16, 2023, submitted by Trisha Big Ten to the park. The sponsorship will bring favorable advertisement and notice with City of Moss Point sponsorship will be paid from an advertising resource. Motion to approve. Second. Again. Motion by Honorable Luna. Yes. Second by Honorable Chair. Yes, sir. Any questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 Aye, sir. 5.22 approved the line of FEMA State Local Disaster Assistance Agreement for Disaster FEMA 4727 DR Mississippi for the City of Moss Point, submitted by Church of Dickman City Park. This agreement shall be effective on the day signed by the state and applicant and shall apply to all assistance funds provided by or through the state to the applicant as a result of the references uh, reference disaster. To approve, yes, second. Motion of Alderman Wilson, second of Alderman Chapman. Any questions? This is a standard procedure that we have to have an agent of record. And that's what this is all about. Every year we have to do this. Oh, uh, you have to have an approved, keep the same person, but you have to go through the motion of uh, the board authorizing that person. All in favor say aye. 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 5.23 approved decline a request to designate Trisha Big Penn as an applicant agent for public assistance for federal disaster number FEMA 4727 DR Mississippi, submitted by Trisha Big Penn City Park. Motion to approve. Thank you. Motion to order room, second to order Wilson. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, sorry. 5.24. Approved upon a request to designate Crystal Rogers, Deputy City Clerk, a certifying official in Daniel Way Fire Team as alternate for the President's Assembly Number 4727, Peter, Mississippi, submitted by the State Density Club. So move, second. Motion by Alderman Chapman, second by Alderman Cunningham. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Seven. 5.25 approved the plan of request to select a fire engineer and incorporated to serve as the administrative consultant for the city 
BG DR Hurricane Sega and Ida Grant recommended by the CDBG committee and submitted by the Dr. Bullock Marine since I've been here. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Alderman Chapman, second by Alderman. No, no. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 5.26 discussion unification of the city. Alderman at large, David Chapman. Yeah. And first responders took out Alderman Clinton. Alderman Chapman. Mr. Mayor, member of the board. Thank you, Ms. Stickpin. Ms. Stickpin included it. A photo in your package. Miss Jack is standing in front of the I 10 613 intersection from City of Marsh Point sign. You got it back up. In, in consideration of the mayor's suggestion, the beautification efforts that the mayor has made uh, during the last administration wife was kind enough to help do this beautification project and I, I sort of ran it by the mayor and the first lady so as not to not to interfere with her beautification efforts and she he approved and she approved of such a project and now the, the picture that you're looking at those those flowers along with uh, I think um, a miracle grow and a bag of potting soil was about a hundred dollars, just that little cluster. And I would like to uh, approach her group, Mississippi Homemakers, and maybe an alumni, one of the alumni in the city, so we can adopt each one of us, adopt one of these signs to do this same, same beautification type effort. Uh, and and I want you all to understand, I'm not trying to interfere with the beautification efforts that are already underway in your wards and what you are doing individually. However, you got to pay for these flowers. Walmart was kind enough to to, to donate uh, these these flowers to us at cost, so uh, it's going to be somewhat of a costly effort. But I, the mayor wanted to do some improvements on the marquees, and that's a matter of time. But right now we can do things like this and uh, maintain them. Roy, you got to help me with water. But anyway, uh, and, and and I'm asking the board. Uh, now I contributed, Jackie and I contributed this $100 for this small cluster. And I'm asking the rest of you to contribute as well for the signs on the south entrance of town and the, the other two signs that we have. Whatever you donate, is appreciated so and i'm asking each one of us to contribute because you guys are doing a great job in your specific wars but the mayor and i have the whole city so we're trying to do this to help beautify and i think it will i think it will coincide with his intent and his effort to help sort of add a little color and flavor to our city limit signs until we can Prove or, or do better marquees. That's, I'm only asking. That's that's not that's not a demand. That's just a, a request for anything you can do to help us. If you will if you'll approve it, the mayor has given us his blessing. I just need the rest of you guys to buy in. I thought back garden club came on they're going to take care of those or do that. I am correct. So they've done water. I don't know. They did water drops and then paint and the little They've done that one. Uh, they, they did tell me. They did tell me which one. So they did get back with them to see you know, they chose them. They are. We'll let Armand Chapman know so we'll have that conflict. But Armand Chapman, are you asking uh, each board member to donate $100? Yes, sir. I am. You just kind of beat around the bush. You didn't. <laughs> I am. And who do they donate it to? How do they make how do they make that donation? They can they can make that they can make that donation to the city once we approve it or accept it like we do all the rest of the donations, and we'll appropriate it as you see fit. 
Any questions? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's three hundred dollars right there, man. I'm holding to that three hundred dollars already. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. In your other discussion that we have is uh Audible Little. Yes, sir, Mayor, thank you. I got a call today from Coach Keep Miller. Uh, a year he was having help out with a group of men here in Moss Point. I, I, I was at work, so I couldn't talk, but just briefly, so bear with me. And if some of you remember this or know who this group is, you, you can maybe find some more information. But anyway, they they do a cookout, like an all day cookout in one of the neighborhoods over here, and it's for first responders. Chief Ashley may remember, I don't know, but. And they just cook burgers and such during throughout the day and any first responders can come by and get a get a plate or a burger or whatever did and this year they've asked if they could have permission to do it on september 2nd between 7 a.m and 2 p.m right out here on the on the green space and uh he said they would not interfere with the fema uh, operation down on the other end but they just need space they're completely self-contained they don't need power and water and all that but he, but uh, Skid said he had, someone had mentioned there was a $300 uh, rental fee or something, but he asked if, if they were going to set up to offer this service and, and what it would be is any of our first responders, any of the county first responders could just come through between those hours and get a meal. They'll, they'll be cooking out there. They'll set up their grills and they'll cook and serve from seven to, well, serve from uh, noon until two. They'll, set up, they'll start cooking at 7 a.m. and setting up and cooking. So I was just going to ask, he asked me if, if, if last minute, but could I talk to the board? No, we got until September 2nd. So we may have, we have, no, we don't have no. Yeah. So we needed to decide tonight if they could be allowed to do that. Judge Miller would be the point of contact for that. They just want to set up out here and grill and serve. And our guys can come through any of the county, in, in, any first responder. It shows identification in Jackson County. They can get a middle. Mayor, those guys are actually from Ward Two. Uh, Joe Smith and uh, and uh, Jerry Bridges and that crew over there. Thank you. Thank you. Always, always doing something in the community. First responders, and they just wanted that opportunity uh, to be able to serve. Yeah, the only thing the only rule of thumb is when you in a facility is that if it's water lights. Yes, it's something that is that is needed. Is just about reimbursing what that three hundred dollars is. That's right. And that's why he said they don't not, not using any of that. Say so they don't need any of that. And uh, and based on what they're doing it for, you know, I don't see any problem with them being given permission to do it. They're not using any water, electricity. Yeah, that, yeah that, Positive or whatever they would pay was just to reimburse the city for that. And if they don't need that, then my opinion would be they can use it. That would be September 2nd, on Saturday, September 2nd, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Make a motion. We need a motion now. Uh, with that said, they can use it. Uh, can make a motion. With the, uh, Yeah, I'm going to talk that up as a, as a day to day decision that I'm making since they're not using any water, I guess. And so you can just, they could just contact you. When involved, and I'm saying they can use it. Okay. And I'll monitor that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, also, just remind us, speaking of that, on the second, on the 11th of September, you know, we have in a first responders banquet that is headed up by Alderman. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to, Making the comments about that. Have a meeting. Well, I think we, yeah, we will have another meeting. Prior to that. Uh, we got a meeting coming up on Monday.
to finalize everything on that. But basically, it's something that we started back in the Broomfield administration as a thank you, more or less, through the mayor's youth council at that particular time. But we sponsored our first responder banquet, which would be an outlet for the first responders and their family to be able to come out and wine and dine or with the park. And this will take place this year on just coincidentally 9 11. Uh, it'll be at Pelican Landing and we'll get notices out to the first responders. And it's going to be inviting more this time because they came in to help us with the tornado. So we'll reach out to just invite other first responders that responded to us during that time to, to come. So the numbers may be a little larger than before. We'll, we'll see. Extending an invitation to them just to thank them for helping us during the, during the time of the tornado. Okay. With that, can we get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Take it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.